Steve Monkey Mason and welcome to Fast Forward Reviews. The movie is Digging Up the Marrow. This movie is a documentary, sort of. It's more of a mockumentary, sort of. A biography? It's one of them. It's also a drama. It's also a fantasy. These are all coming from IMDb. Because technically, it's a horror. It's a comedy. It's definitely a mystery movie. And it's a filmmaker's dream. The year 2014. It's on for 1 hour and 28 minutes. Directed and written by Adam Green. Based off the work by Alex Pordes. Pardes, I'm sorry you have to put your name. Amazing artwork. Digging up the marrow was his concept art. Starring Ray Weiss, Adam Green, the director, the writer, Will Barnett, Josh Ephier, and Riley Vanderbilt. With a special guest appearance by Kian Hodder. This does make music. The age, whoa, why is the age rating the entire size of the screen? You can't even see me. Whatever, the age rating for this movie is a 15. Tagline for this movie is Believing is seeing. The budget for this movie, unknown. They've pretty much been making this on the weekends off. Yeah, there's not really any idea of the budget of this movie. So, here's a little bit about the movie. When the real life director, Adam Green, director of Hatchet and Frozen, none of the Walt Disney stuff, real Frozen, receives what he first thinks is fan mail, but isn't fan mail. What sort is fan mail? It's creepy, it's a big book of random stuff from a guy who believes he knows where monsters are. Adam and his friend Will. Meet this man for an interview, talk to him for a while, film an interview. They convince the man to take them to where he sees these monsters. They film it in the night and they actually catch him on camera. Seriously, someone just pops up like, ah, in front of the face, and like, whoa, what's that? Adam and Will are totally hyped about this, but their editor doesn't believe them. He's like, who made this? In walks Kian Horror, and he doesn't believe the creature's real. So Adam and Will adventure out one more time to find out if these monsters are real or not. Or if this guy is just completely crazy and making it all up and playing practical jokes on them. But the thing is, should Adam and Will had stopped there with that one joke? Because maybes, just maybes, if you dig up the marrow, there may be something down there. And this isn't trapdoor. Fun fact about the movie, this took five years to make. And a bonus fun fact about the movie, the live cast of Kane Hodder, which was obviously from Hatchet, they used to create the monster for Blossom, who obviously when it first popped up, was he, that's definitely Kane Hodder. It wasn't, but it's because it looks like Kane Hodder's face. So here's my review of the movie. This is a filmmaker's dream. Adam briefly met Alex at a Comic Con convention. Passive a paper, an idea, and this spawned out of it. So two artists getting together with a brief idea, inspired, get a few more people involved. Voila! Bing bang! This movie. And this movie is awesome. Based off Alex's artwork, which is dark, beautiful, disturbing. With a mockumentary style twist to it all, as Adam brings you into his own life. Sort of. He rented a house so people wouldn't show up in his house like me. Seriously though, Adam's done a really good job of uh, bringing it into his world, away from his other films and his TV shows, to take you on this little adventure about finding these creatures. It's just really well done, and really well planned, unlike me who's doing this review, running out of time with the battery on the camera, I'm looking at the time of the battery and going, need to make this a bit faster, need to get to the point, need to read the notes. Don't have the time to read the notes, these are fast forward reviews, really really fast, but maybe Alex and Adam will understand that sometimes, unpredictability and improv make all the things even better, even if it's chicken running underneath your feet. Don't get that joke, need to see this movie. With a lot of horror icons, cameos, crossovers, candy bands, Jasons, it's definitely worth the watch. The artwork on this DVD box is not justified, so never judge a DVD by its cover. Remember that expression about a book? This movie is awesome. Should you own it? Yes. Not out on Blu-ray in the UK, Alex and Adam will. Kane Hodder, get it sorted. Blu-ray release please in the UK. How many concept bricks? It's a four, honestly. One, two, three, four. I count four or five there. Sorry, I was like, one, two, three, four. It's four concert bricks. I've been Stephen Monkey Mason. I do apologise for those of you being absolutely too fast, absolutely all over the place. I do apologise. Check this movie out. The battery is still running. I probably did have time to finish this review properly. Absolutely gooing it. Absolutely gooing it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Who's this? Hello? Bob now a laser disc? That's better than another Jake Dillon film, that's for sure. <laughs>